Well, I have a bit of a confession to make. Even though I am in the, the Episcopal Church, I prefer the 1928 Book of Common Prayer. By many measures, probably, I am um, fairly traditional in the Episcopal Church. I'm not um, traditional enough to think that I would prefer the ACNA, however, uh, some of the liberalizations of the liturgy, um, some of the theology, but really just some of the, the, the scandals that the Episcopal Church has gotten away with, um, with Strong, or, or Spong, I forget how you say his name, rest in peace, even though I disagreed with him heavily. Um, or uh, some omissions that that we have from services um, that you see fairly often. Um, I am still more associated with myself on on some issues with the Episcopal Church. With that said, I love the language of the 1928 Book of Common Prayer. I love the ease compared to some of the 79, oh, you can read this psalm or this or one of these dozen um, prayers after the first or second lesson in the, the evening or morning prayer. Um, I understand per Dale. Uh, I, Dale, I don't know your name. I watch your videos all the time. You're, you're great. Um, but... They've changed some of the, the baptism and some of the sacraments. Um, so, I guess realistically, I just find myself more in the Anglo-Catholic tradition of the Episcopal Church with a love of uh, older language. Which brings us to the Anglican office book. This is, I believe, from St. Andrew's uh, college out of college or university out of California. I, I spoke with the priest that was involved with creating this. I think it was a Father Foos. And um, he's really a nice guy. He talked to me for about 30 minutes about about life, really. Church. My plans in life. Um, and that left a positive mark on me but even more than that if this book sucked that would just have been a nice conversation this is probably the best prayer book that i can think of um i have the saint augustine prayer book both the 67 and the 2014 i have saint ambrose's orthodox western rite prayer book that's also pretty good and, and pretty similar to the 67 um, St. Augustine's with some changes since it's Orthodox, capital. Um, I don't have a St. Gregory um, prayer book that would be used by the Roman Catholic Church in the uh, ordinariate. And I don't have any of the Catholic prayer books in general, um, though my dad has one from the 40s from one of his relatives that was really reminiscent of the St. Augustine's, I thought, um, looks-wise. I didn't look into it because it is, it looks like it's from antiquity <laughs> in the shape it's in. But this is hard to beat. It is essentially the St. Augustine, or excuse me, the 1928 Book of Common Prayer with a bunch of additions of um, probably the more Anglo-Catholic variety, beautiful prayers, a lot more commemoration of the saints, of intercessions, uh, the mention of Mary. Um, and it's not a Mary that we would be more watered down in the Episcopal Church of. It is Mary, the Mother of God. Um, 
a lot you can tell that there's the 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 creators of this definitely follow the perpetual virginity of Mary. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if they held to the Immaculate Conception, as there are Anglo-Catholics that do. Um, most, I think, would hold more to the Eastern idea of her possibly being cleansed after birth or um, at the Annunciation. Uh, but the the, uh, the Ascension, I believe, is definitely mentioned in here. Uh, let's see. So I've got my Perpetual Virginity, Immaculate Ascension. I'm missing a dogma in there. I'm not going to be able to remember it. Oh, Mother of God, of course. I, like, almost everyone believes in that. Um, but even you can just see on the back here, Our Lady of Walsingham, St. Dunstan of Canterbury, and the Blessed John Mason Neal, who, admittedly, I don't know who this is. Intercede unto the Lord our God for all who prayerfully use this book. Our Lady of Walsingham, in a Marian apparition from the 11th century, maybe 12th. You just don't see that often in the Anglican Communion, maybe in the Continuum. I think this is ACNA. Um, so it is, it is strongly, strongly Anglo-Catholic. And I love that. I don't necessarily agree with all the dogmas of, of Marian dogmas, um, but I, I appreciate the rich heritage that they use here. Besides that, it's just wonderfully made. Gilded edges, not uncommon. However, I think, what, we get six tassel bookmarks here. Not tassel. Um, ribbon bookmarks. Just incredible feel to this. Compared to the St. Augustine's or the Ambrose prayer book I have, this does not feel like it's going to fall apart. I could see this being used 50 years from now, assuming that most of the Continuum or, or uh, ACNA hasn't moved on to the 2019 or, or the, the, the nice 1662 that's, that's being pressed nowadays. Um, they have a few different calendars in here. I think they have the original 1552 that you can use. I apologize, I'm not 100% sure. Definitely flying off the cuff with creating this. I um, am not a planner, even though I should be because I have chronic anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorder. But you can see there's also the 62 Table of Lessons. I believe this is from the Anglican Church in Canada. I can't be certain, but I think it is. One of the, the nice things about this, and, and I've only been an Anglican for a year, and I've primi primarily used the 79. I've occasionally used the 28, which, even though I've only been using it for a little bit, it's just something about it feels more magical, special. Um, and then the 1662, this just has so many different, not options, because it is all based on a calendar. It's just set up perfectly. You can see third Sunday after Epiphany. For the first even song, as there's multiple types of even songs you might have, depending on if they line up with a feast or an octave, uh, obviously not three Sundays after the Epiphany, um, or any other special type of thing. As it's the second Sunday after Epiphany, I can see here on the Compline, which I will, I think, do just to um, show everyone how this works, um, how beautiful and wonderful the services from this book can be. You can see on Sundays and ferias from the first of the uh, uh, first after first day after an octave of Epiphany and the first Sunday in Lent, the antiphon changes to preserve us, O Lord, instead of one of the seasonal antiphons for Epiphany. Ah, too far. 
light of light, thou Christ hast appeared, unto whom the Magi offer gifts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. That is what I have been saying um, when I am not too hard-hearted to say a prayer. Um, but just to, just to show how this goes, and and I hope this isn't unusual or, or um, disliked by the creators of this, which, of course, if it is, I will be happy to take it down for you guys. Let me just read a Compline service for you. The Order of Compline, which, of course, is one of the seven different offices. It's one of the little offices. Oh, all right. Pray, Lord, a blessing. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resists steadfast in the faith, but thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Turn thou us, O God, our Savior, and let thine anger cease from us. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And then you can see all of these different antiphons depending on the season that we would use um admittedly i think i will probably cut it here because i don't know that this is mine to share again um seen a few pages i don't think is any harm but but this is a 10 out of 10 a 20 out of 10 if you are a high church anglican of the acc the acna the TEC or any of the continuum, the Church of England, ACC, any of uh, ACC, I said twice, I guess Anglican Catholic Church, Anglican Church in Canada, anyone, anyone, I, there are Catholics that would surely, Roman Catholics that would love this. I have a hard time believing that my, my dad, who is a fairly adamant Roman Catholic could find anything disagreeable in this. The most disagreeable thing would probably be that it's in KGV language rather than RSV. Um, just, you, you, you need to buy this if you are an Anglo Catholic. Um, I will say it is steep. This was $75. $75. They're working on a second edition. Um, I believe there's some corrections they have in it that they're going to fix, obviously, as well as a full copy of the KGV with Apocrypha, I think, as the, the creators of this are very Anglican Catholic, I would almost think they would put it in the Deuterocanon order. I don't know, I don't know how Anglo Catholics do that, um, because it is in the 39 articles about the Old Testament's canon. However, I find myself at least pondering if the Deuterocanon is correctly scripture rather than Apocrypha. Um, Seventy-five dollars, uh, I believe, on on Saint Andrew's website uh, web store. Um, in addition to this, they have 
incense if, if you are one that prays with incense i do it from time to time depending on how much time i have um you know i i don't know that there's any theological qualms i have with it i'd have to research that topic more it's something that the church of england has done throughout their history and obviously the the united catholic church of the first century did and continues to do in the other forms of, of uh, the church. Um, they have four blends, I believe. I have three. No, excuse me. One is just frankincense. Um, when I first started buying incense, I bought a really not good quality frankincense and myrrh online. It smells terrible. I tried to use it again after using... St. Andrew's, um, incense, St. Andrew's incense just blows it out of the water. It's very fine in its, um, in its, what do you say, quality. It's very small compared to some of these big chunks you get. Um, <clears throat> and in addition to that, they have what I can figure are one of the cheaper, pricing on um, candles, beeswax candles. So I cannot speak any higher about this this book, St. Andrew's University in, I think it's, oof, I, I apologize, I don't remember, it's, it's California. Um, buy it, use it, worship with it. See ya.